KP's Kingdom, cooking with KP, and today I'm going to show you the quickest and easiest chicken rendang ever. And uh, everything is either sitting in my refrigerator or is sitting in my pantry. All right, here we go. I've got a wok, a little bit of peanut oil that can go in just like that. All right, I'm going to get a little bit of heat happening to that and just give that a little bit of a stir. I've got a little piece of uh, onion. I'm just testing the heat little bit of chicken there sorry just testing the heat and what we're going to do is we're going to fry off one onion which we've quarter cut very very simple all right so we're just going to get a bit of heat happening to that right nice and easy just stir that around with the either a spatula or some tongs i'll leave that up to you which utensil you want to use just be careful don't use metal utensils in a non-stick wok you'll uh, absolutely screw the topping up or the, sorry the coating up a little bit of salt that can go straight in just like that nice and simple and we're going to just basically cook these through until they go sort of translucent we're not going to give them a, a real hard char at all on this one if you want them a little bit more smoky and if you want to give it a little bit more uh, of a brown tinge you can i'll leave that up to you i'm just doing this nice and simple okay all right so i'm just going to do that taking those out put those aside a little bit more oil that can go in right and now we can start frying off our little pieces of chicken in batches I'm just using a chicken thigh that I've cut up nice and small we don't want real big chunks out of this we want this to cook nice and quick if you cook it in batches too it will take no time at all to do okay so just put those in and wait until they're cooked through around about 90 to 95 percent of the way we don't want to dry this out we want to keep this nice and juicy and keep that chicken moving we don't want it to stick to the bottom of the wok even though that is a non-stick wok i have had it a while now and uh, i do give it a very very hard time and uh, if you want to know where i bought that wok yep i bought it at a really good price just at ikea believe it or not all right we've got around about a 90 percent cook rate through that so we're just going to take that out and put that aside just like that and as i said we're just going to do this in batches so uh it cooks quick and easy all right i'm not going to bore you with showing you the whole cooking process of how to cook chicken once you've seen the first batch you've seen the lot all right now it's time to make up our ren dang sauce and as i said everything is in my refrigerator or my pantry so i'm adding in around about two cloves worth of garlic paste and about a four centimeter piece worth of ginger paste around about 20 grams worth i'm also going to add in around about 10 grams worth of lemongrass paste and in here i've got around about about a tablespoon of ground coriander and a tablespoon of ground cumin i'm also going to add in the equivalent to around about two cloves worth of clove powder all right really nice and easy and as i said this is all in my pantry and just give that a little bit of a stir through just toast those uh, little spices off now if you want to use the uh, the fresh product you can but you might end up with a bit of wastage that's why i'm just using the dried ingredients and as i said i had everything in the pantry anyway all right those ingredients i always keep especially cumin and coriander powder all right i'm going to add in some coconut around about half a cup's worth of desiccated coconut right just stir that through toast that off get a real nice uh, brownness happening to that and a toasted coconut always tastes so much better okay and i'm now going to add back all the chicken and all those onions straight back into our wok just like that right so quick and so easy so far isn't it all right and if you haven't had chicken rendang before well you don't know what you're missing as beautiful indonesian style flavors now here's the magic we're going to add in around about i'm going to add in two tablespoons worth of tamarind uh, concentrate i like the extra zinginess that the tamarind gives out mix all of that together get all those flavors sort of happening okay really nice and easy to do all right last ingredient we're really going to need we're going to add in uh, some coconut uh, cream and i'm actually going to add in a full 400 gram can of that or tin of that and it's a little bit excessive on the coconut cream but i do like that 
extra sauciness and that extra creaminess that that gives. All right, just so uh, stir all that through, get all those flavors happening, and we're getting ready to uh, finish this meal off. All right, I've got some rice cooking in the rice cooker, just a little bit of uh, jasmine rice, just for a beautiful fragrant flavor, and it cooks up just nice for this particular type of dish. All right, so make sure we bring that up to a nice simmer. That's all we really need, and we just want to make sure that chicken is fully cooked through at this point. All right, we can undercook it to start with, but as long as we don't uh, lag and leave a little bit uh, too much time, will be okay. That chicken will be absolutely fine. All right, I'm just going to go a half and half serving. Just going to get my chicken rendang. I serve that on one half of the plate, and on the other half of the plate, I've got that right rice. All right. Love to see you try and make this one at home. It is easy and it is quick. It will take you around about 20 minutes to cook. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you like this video, hit that like button. It gives me confidence. should make you feel warm and fuzzy too. Please share this video with all your friends on all platforms and social media. I'm trying to get Nama KP's kingdom out there. Hit that notifications bell. You'll be notified every time a new video goes up. Leave a comment. I love reading and I love responding to them. If you want to learn how to make something real quick and easy, and as authentic tasting using just ingredients in the pantry in the refrigerator you need to come and join the family my family hit that subscribe button and you'll never miss another one of my videos again i'm off to eat my chicken rendang and i will catch you next time bye